All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to our Facebook Live, uh, YouTube Live, and live on Instagram um, for the month of October. If you're just joining us, welcome, welcome. Um, just wanted to make sure everything is working okay. So, either if you're joining us from Facebook, YouTube, or on Instagram, just a quick thumbs up or a comment down below to let us know that you can hear and see me okay, so that we can kind of jump right in with a couple of announcements and get started. I already see you know people starting to continuously trickle in on um, on Facebook and a um, some people on YouTube as well. So if you're joining us on those platforms, you know, as I mentioned, just a quick comment down below to make sure that everything is working fine. I will be checking Instagram on my phone um, so that I can see if there's any comments um, there as well. So we got we got about 40 people on Instagram as well and then um, also about the same number on Facebook. All right, great. So I already see some comments here. So for those of you joining us for the very first time, um, the way that this works is really a very open conversation for about an hour here. I do this every single month. So to answer any questions you guys might have about either our products or just getting into the uh, um, customization or apparel, de apparel decoration business in general, and to really just, um, yeah, uh, Anyway, the conversation goes is really dependent on what questions you guys ask and what you guys want to learn. So um, don't be shy and feel free to ask any questions that's not, that might be on your mind, either if you're getting stuck in your business or um, struggling with one aspect of your business or looking to get into the business and just not sure what to do. This will be a great forum to kind of get some of those questions answered. And as people ask their questions, we'll also be putting some of those uh, screenshots of those questions up on the live feed so that people can follow along and hopefully you know, uh, many many times people have the same question, so you'll you'll be able to learn from other people as well. All right, so I see that can see and hear me okay. So good, good. Um, good morning from San Diego, from from Sandra Fisher. Good to see you, Sandra. Hello from Detroit, Michigan. Hello from Delaware, Charleston, South Carolina. So hello from um, Bremerton, Washington. Caleb Cushion. Good to see you. All right. So I've got, got a lot of people joining from all, all over the place, which is great to see. Every time we do a live stream, we do see a wide variety of audiences, sometimes even overseas from like the UK or South Africa or even Australia. So at out, um, odd hours of the day. So um, good to see everyone joining. Um, just a couple of quick announcements before we kind of get started. Um, if you are joining us for this live event, we are going to have a giveaway as we normally do at the end of every live stream. And for today's giveaway, it's going to be uh, a $50 auto caps credit to um, to buy any hats that you want from auto caps. So they've been uh, a generous sponsor and have um, given us the option to give away a $50 store credit to auto caps. So thanks to them, you can, you know, I know that a lot of caps are on short supply, so this would definitely help out and um, be able to purchase some of those blanks to uh, kind of stock up for the holiday season or for your orders coming up at the end of the year. So we'll, we will announce the winner of that um, giveaway at the end of our live stream. So make sure to, you know, stay active, ask questions, uh, make sure to chime in. And uh, if you have any burning questions, make sure to get those um, questions asked so I can get to those. All right. Um, some other couple of announcements we do. Uh, we have launched a couple of new products. If you guys haven't already um, seen them, um, one of the newer products that we launched is the, actually the the Rico RI two thousand DTG printer. So um, we launched that maybe like a, like a month ago, and um, it is an upgrade from the Rico RI one thousand DTG printer, where it is uh, much faster. Uh, and the and the biggest difference between the Rico RI one thousand and the RI two thousand is that the two thousand actually has has a, a dual carriage system, so it um, has two two carriages uh, in the actual printer, so that it can print white and color in one single pass. Versus the RI one thousand, you actually print the white first, and then um, it uh, kind of you know puts the carriage back in, and it prints the color on top of that. So it actually probably cuts the sp uh, cuts the time in in half. So you're faster by about fifty percent. We've done some testing here and on some uh, uh, printing on, on dark garments, and that has really helped with the speed. So if you're looking for you know higher pr production volume, if you're a um, you know, someone that's looking to, to make a lot of these t-shirts, the, the Rico RI 2000 is really helpful for that because it has that 
dual carriage uh, uh, system, and it's especially helpful when printing on dark garments, which is what a lot of people want, right? Um, because for darker garments, you do need to have the uh, white layer down first and then um, print your colors. So yeah, as you can probably see as we're scrolling through on our screen, you can see the, the comparison of the two DTG packages. You can see just from the build of the RI2000, it is, it is bulkier and it's a, a little bit longer. And that's because it has, that, uh, it has to fit the dual carriage uh, system. It has two separate uh, carriages and print heads. Um, to be able to kind of print white and colors in one single pass. So um, that does save you a ton of time when printing in volume. So I, um, that's something that we've recently launched. And um, for the RI2000, RI you actually get an, an upgraded heat press in the package as well. You get an automatic um, 16 by 20 or sorry, uh, and, and yeah, an and auto 16 by 20 flat heat press that goes along with your package versus a manual open 15 by 15 heat press in the RI-1000 package. But then again, you know, um, the RI-2000 is for people that are looking for more of that volume and speed. So if that's something you're considering, make sure to, you know, c contact us in, um, w with our team and they'll be happy to answer some questions for you and ask you some questions to make sure that it is the right fit for you versus the RI-1000. All right, the other thing that we've launched is uh, the new vinyl cutter. So if you haven't heard about that, uh, we have launched a um, two separate models of vinyl cutters. Um, one is the RCP3301, which is a 13-inch vinyl cutter, and the other one is the uh, 6301, which is a 25-inch vinyl cutter. So if you're interested in kind of starting out with heat transfer vinyl, um, these vinyl cutter packages are super helpful for you to, um, you know, uh, couple it with a heat press and be able to cut your vinyl easily and um, be able to transfer that onto t-shirts or um, caps or whatever the case is. It's uh, pretty ver pretty versatile. It's a new product line that, that, that we've launched, really to uh, geared towards, um, you know, people with maybe a lower budget and but still wanting to get into apparel decoration. You can really use these vinyl cutters for pretty intricate designs um, using, you know, different types of vinyl, obviously, and being able to feed it into the vinyl cutter and they can cut it up um, according to your design and then you can use a heat press to transfer it on, on there. We do sell the vinyl cutters um, separately if you want to purchase them on the shop as you see there on the screen or um, in packages as well along with the heat press so you kind of get everything you need to get started. All right, so um, with that said, it also comes with the software, by the way, you know, with the package so that you can operate kind of, you know, with any any um, machine, you need the software to be able to operate it. So it does come with the software to be able to cut your designs and set, set your designs up and send it to the machine. So those are the biggest uh, two announcements of new products that we have. And obviously, we still have kind of our... Um, 0% uh, financing going on for a lot of our different machines. Obviously, with the with the imported machines, 0% um, for 72 months, uh, payments starting as low as 130 per month, as well as DTG printers, um, the Rico RI-1000 starting at, I believe, uh, is it 235 a month? Um, and the RI-2000 also um, with 0% available as well. You also have, We also have the white toner transfer printers, so the Luminaris 200, if you don't, if you haven't heard about that, it's uh, kind of a um, nice uh, printer to be able to uh, transfer these uh, these thin films of paper onto uh, um, onto different surfaces like your uh, t-shirts and mugs and things of that nature. So um, the that that white toner tra transfer printer, we also have packages there starting at about ninety five dollars per month. So super low monthly payments without zero percent financing. Um, so do get in touch if you're interested in any of those products and make sure that um, you know you get in touch with our team and understand kind of your your needs. We can guide you to the right product to get started in your business depending on your product. Uh, on your budget and also on what type of items you're looking to do all right so with with those announcements out of the way we can kind of you know jump right in and feel free to chime in on any questions about um, anything that I've mentioned I'll, feel, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer those um, but essentially for those of you that are just joining us you know the way that this works is really you just type into the comments below if you're joining us from Facebook YouTube or on Instagram and uh, we can um, I can answer any of those questions that you guys might have um, to, ad to address those and um, you know ask anything that's on your mind about the apparel decoration business or any technical questions or anything about marketing um, it's really a free-flowing conversation depending on what you want to learn and hopefully you get some value out of this conversation so with that said I kind of scroll through on uh, Facebook first with some of the questions on here let's see if we can get a question all right so first question from uh, Caleb Johnson uh, what version of Chroma comes with the purchase of an embroidery machine? So great question there, Caleb. So um, 
Chroma is included with any of the boarding machine purchase, and the version that comes with it is called Chroma Inspire. That's the entry level version. It's the first tier of Chroma, and Chroma has three tiers total. It has Chroma Inspire, which is what comes with your machine. It has Chroma Plus, which is the second tier, and then Chroma Lux, which is the top tier. And to upgrade, you simply have to just pay the difference of you know what you have, what you get for the in the machine for free, and the price of the uh, of the of the next available tier. Or if you want to jump to the top tier, you can do that as well. You just pay the upgrade, and and you 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 forever have um, your Chroma Inspire, which is the level that comes with your machine, um, free to use. So what a lot of people do is you know after they try out the software with Chroma Inspire, they they like it, they want to do more of the digitizing in house, and that's going to you know um, require more control and more features, and they sometimes feel that it's a lot easier to do a lot of things and a lot faster with these upgrade to um, higher tiers and that's when they decide to jump up to you know a chroma plus or a chroma lux and one of the great things about chroma a lot of people ask me you know what's the difference between chroma uh, in terms of its this its features versus other other digitizing uh, uh, software and one of the biggest biggest uh, things that I like is the fact that it has um, it's compatible with uh, Mac and PC. So a lot of people use Mac for, for design related things. A lot of other embroidery um, uh, digitizing software out there actually is only compatible with PC. So you either have to run a parallel on your Mac or buy a separate computer altogether just to run the, 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 the software on a standalone basis. Um, versus on um, with, with Chroma, uh, any of our tiers are compatible with Mac. So you can, you know, if you already use a Mac, you don't have to run parallel or get another um, laptop or computer just to install that stuff. Uh, that software. That's that's one great thing about it. Um, the the other great thing is I believe that um, it uh, has lifetime upgrades. So you because it's it's completely transferred over the cloud. You don't need a dongle or a key or anything like that. Uh, you don't need a physical you know key to access your software. And sometimes that if you lose that, that's that's essentially your license. You have to buy a new one uh, with some of these other other companies. But here it's completely um, delivered over the cloud. So you just have to download it. You as long as you have your serial number, which again is in your in your should be in your email when you buy the machine. Um, as long as you keep your serial number safe, you can always activate it. Um, anywhere you go. Uh, you can only activate it on one computer at a time. So if you do need to use it on another computer, simply deactivate it from the one that you have it on and then activate it on the other computer. Um, so that's a, that's another great thing, lifetime upgrades because it's it's delivered over the cloud and if you just log into uh, you know your, your 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 Chroma software, you can see what what the latest version is and if there's a latest version available or, or any updates, you can download that straight for, straight uh, from from the link and it just updates your software versus other companies, you know, because you have a physical dongle, that license or that a version of the software is it's it, it stays stagnant. So if there's another update, you just have to buy another uh, license to get the upgrade. So lifetime upgrades is a super helpful um, tool as well. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's a lot of design software have a lot of the same features. I think I think Chrome is very um, user friendly and uh, it's 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 more, much more intuitive. Um, and we have a ton of tutorials on our website on you know teaching you how to use uh, Chroma and do do a lot of um, different projects. So um, you can also download the free trial if you want. Uh, we can link that down in the comments below. You can download the free trial. You can try it out. You just can't save anything, but you can try out all different levels of Chroma and um, see how you like the interface. And then if you like it, then you can go ahead and purchase it. Um, but we give that free trial as well just to kind of get your feet wet and get used to the interface and see if you like it before you buy. Okay, let's see any questions. Uh, not to take a question from YouTube this time. Um, Lena Gray asks, uh, so Lena is from Australia. They're waiting for a two head commercial Ricoma um, to, to arrive. Can I, um, she wants to know if parts for this machine are accessible in Australia. So yes, well, obviously we have an authorized distributor in Australia and, and they have either their parts in stock or they will be able to order them from our factory. So um, they should be able to provide the training and support for you on a regular basis. Are we putting up some of these comments? Okay. Yeah, and Lena Gray also said, would like to give a shout out to River Sewing in uh, Brisbane, Australia. This company was my go-to for my area, supportive, and they have 
also offer to train me in their shop prior to our machine arriving. Great, that's awesome to hear. And yeah, we have a great network of um, dealers in uh, in Australia. We have a master distributor, and they have a you know great number of um, of, of sub dealers that handle different regions. And it's great to hear that you're getting the support and the training that uh, that you're looking for. Jackie Garcia asked, "Do you give special discounts after buying several products from Recoma?" So, you know, we're, our one, our machines are, are are already pretty heavily discounted, and um, you know, if you've been keeping up with what's going on in the world, a, a lot of um, you know things have been going up in price, um, including you know shipping costs, uh, supply chain um, issues, and and things of that nature, and so everything is going up in price. Um, and even then, we haven't raised our prices. So we've been kind of uh, we've seen a lot of other companies raise their prices. Um, to kind of you know be able to uh, to accommodate or or take less of a loss with um, with uh, the rising prices and hard costs like transportation and things like that. So um, we've actually haven't raised our prices, and so uh, our machines are already pretty competitively priced with with discounting. Um, plus, we give other incentives, you know, like free shipping and things like that, you know, during special promotions. So all of those things are already um, special discounts, so to speak, um, from the products that we already have on top of it be already being competitive price. And we haven't raised the prices, um, you know, quite quite some time since everything has been going up in price. So um, but always get in touch with our sales team and see, you know, what what is it that, that, that you're looking for? Obviously, if you're looking to buy a lot of items um, that can definitely help in some of the some of the discounting and being able to kind of, you know, obviously with volume, we can we can um, have more room to 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 navigate. Um, but that's something that you can talk to the um, your product specialist about. They can help you out there. All right. Let's see any questions from uh, Instagram. Um, D Leon 8263 says, where can I see the price for the machine? So I'll just, you know, you go on any, any of our um, uh, links on our website, you can, you can fill out a form and get in touch with our team or you can call our, our general line, um, 305-418-4421 if you're interested. And um, you can talk to a product specialist and they can, you know, because there's so many different machines and products, it's, it's going to be helpful to know and give you the right pricing based on what you actually are looking for and what your needs are. So I would encourage getting in touch with a product specialist and that way they can ask you the right questions and make sure that we get a machine that can fit your needs. And so um, that's going to be the, my best recommendation to getting the right pricing and the right model and the right package. All right, back to some questions on Facebook. All right, um, Desiree Simmons Boston asked on Facebook, uh, which prints better, the DTG or the white toner printer? Great question and a common question that I get. And actually, I think I did a pretty in-depth comparison on our YouTube channel about this topic of, of DTG versus white toner transfer printer. And um, and I would say this, the there's no right or wrong answer because really, um, the, the term prints better, it's very relative and it depends on what your priorities are, right? So um, first and foremost, I'll kind of give you a breakdown of how DTG and white toner is, is different. One, DTG prints, you know, as the word speaks, direct to garment, um, it's printing directly onto the garment itself. So it skips the kind of step of actually doing the heat transfer and transferring a, a design onto the garment. So when you're doing that, um, what happens is because it uses ink, the ink actually infuses into the garment. It bonds with the, with the, with the fibers a lot better. Um, and it's a little bit more of a, of a permanent process because you're, you know, you're using the pre-treatment liquid to kind of make that chemical bond and the ink kind of infuses with the fabric and makes that bond. Um, that's what DTG does. With white toner transfer printer, um, even, even in the name transfer, right, you're transferring a sheet of essentially paper. It's a specialized piece of paper, but you're transferring a piece of paper onto the top of the garment. So it actually rests on top of your fabric. It doesn't kind of infuse itself or bond itself with the actual fibers. So what happens is because, you know, one is infusing itself with the fibers, the other is kind of laying on top of the fabric, the feel naturally is going to be different. You're going to have a much smoother feel on the DTG versus on white toner um, transfer printing. Why? Again, because DDG actually prints directly onto the garment. Why to transfer? You're using a heat press to transfer the, the design onto the garment. So you will feel a, a, a slightly less smooth finish on the white toner transfer printer. That's just the nature of how the, tech, uh, how the technology works. Now, that being said, um, 
a white tone transfer printer has the flexibility of, of you know has has the benefit of being more flexible and more versatile why because the dtg printer you know you're only printing directly onto the garment and it has to feed the garment into the into the printer and you can only feed flat garments right you can only do t-shirts hoodies you know jackets polos things of that nature you're not able to do hats or anything like anything like that because those are more three-dimensional and it doesn't lay flat and you need to feed the you know platen and the and the with the garment resting on it into the actual machine where the print head's going to spray the ink onto it right so with white toner transfer printer on the other hand you are not limited um you know you're you're limited less by what the printer can print you're more limited by what type of heat press you use so as long as your garment can fit under a heat press whether that be a mug press a flat heat press a hat press a plate press Whatever the case is, there's many different types of presses out there, and as long as your garment fits into the platen onto the heat press, you're able to transfer your, your design onto that piece of uh, garment or that substrate. Uh, because it's more it's more it's more versatile. It depends on the heat press, less so on the printer itself. So you're able to transfer onto a lot more variety of substrates, and that's a benefit of white toner transfer printer over over DTG. Um, but you know, just know that your feel is gonna be uh, it's gonna be different, right? Um, you know, but uh, both can transfer onto, you know, both uh, can print or transfer onto like, you know, light or dark t-shirts, light or dark substrates. So it's pretty equal there. And the print quality is, is very good. I mean, both can print full color designs, um, you know, on the front of a t-shirt, right? Like that's, that's uh, very easily doable on, on with either method. Um, I would say DTG might be a, a little bit faster um, because of the fact that uh, you, you're skipping the transfer step. You, you, you're you not, you know, it's a two-step transfer process. So you have to first transfer the adhesive sheet, then you have to transfer the, the actual design. So it's a, it's a two-step process. In each step, you have to peel and wait and things like that. So with white tone transfer, with white tone transfer printer, it's a little bit more manual. Um, you know, not, not that much more manual, but, but a little bit more manual. Um, but with DTG, you kind of just feed the design into the machine, you feed the shirt, and then you press start, and it just prints, right? So, um, but you do need to, like, cure it and, and you know, spray the pre-treatment on it. But you can also buy pre-treated T-shirts to save you time. So those are just kind of a little bit of an overview. I know I kind of rambled in some different areas, but um, those, are, those are some key differences between DTG and white tone transfer printer. They're not meant to be um, replacements of the other. So, you know, uh, when you think about, okay, which is better, you're kind of thinking about, okay, should I get one or the other? But they're really meant to be complements of each other because they're used for very different use cases. DTG can be used for very high volume pro, uh, production and be able to print high quality designs with a very smooth finish onto light or dark garments, you know, light, uh, you know, cotton or polyester garments, very, very versatile there. But it can only print flat, right? It can only print like masks or um, socks, you know, like you can print those things, but because they're all flat. But with um, white toner, it's just, you know, it's more versatile, but you, you give up a little bit on the finishing feel because it's, it's a transfer versus actually printing directly onto the garment. So I hope that helps. Um, but if you are interested in any of those, also they're in, in a different price point, uh, make sure to get in touch with our team and they can kind of understand more about what types of items you're looking to do and hopefully get you into the right machine to fit your needs. But most uh, most people I've actually seen as, they, as their business sc um, scales, they're actually getting a DTG and white toner in the same a shop to be able to be accommodating for different types of orders as i said you know white toner being more versatile but ddg having that really smooth finish and and that and that production volume okay uh let's see some other questions here Caleb Cushing asks, ordered an embroidery machine. What's the turnaround looking like? I haven't gotten much info since I placed my order. I also want the, to get my key for Chroma. So yeah, get in touch with your account coordinator. You should have been introduced to an, to an account coordinator after the sale um, so that they're your point of contact for any you know shipping-related increase, you know, tracking information and all of that stuff, and to get you set up to your customer portal, to get your pre-training done, and schedule your training. So all of that can be coordinated through your account coordinator. That's what they're there for. And um, they can also help you get the Chroma key, a Chroma license, if you want to get that ahead of time. Uh, but usually everything kind of you know ships with the machine, but given Chroma is, is digital, we can actually you know send you the, uh, the the license and you can kind of get started with that. But do get in touch with your account coordinators if you want to get more information.
Joel Motino asks, what are the differences of the two sets of tension knobs on the EM1010? How do I know when to use one versus the other? So the two sets of tension knobs on you know most of our machines are meant to be you know setting tension at two different points. It's not so much um, when should I use one or the other. It's just whether you want more tension or, or less tension, right? Like it's, it's, it's you know more points of tension. Having two sets of tension knobs gives you two separate points to add pressure to the to the tension, you know, uh, with the knobs to be able to get tighter tension on some of your threads. But most people, what they do is you start off with the with the uh, top threads uh, with the top tension knob on your on your thread rack uh, because that's the most immediate point. That's the most that's the first point of contact that your thread has with a tension knob. And that's going to be the um, most, uh, I guess, have the most effect on your on your tension. The tension knobs on, on the machine head is just another added set of tension knobs, another added touch point. If you want to add additional tension, or if you feel that the tension is not it's not enough from the from the from the top th uh, top thread rack, um, it's just another kind of a safety measure or another added layer of security for. Um, uh, being able to adjust your tensions further from those uh, touch points, but the uh, thread tension knobs on the on the on the thread rack is probably the first point of contact and also um, the most effective in terms of adjusting your tension as a, as a beginning point. Cesare Simmons Boston asks, "What's the largest size cut that the vinyl cutter can do?" Um, so the, the, there's two cutters. One, I believe, is 12 inches, which is the smaller one, and I believe the larger one goes up to 25 inches. So 25 inches for the, for the uh, you know, larger size cutter, and so that's more than enough for most designs, especially on T-shirts and, and other types of uh, surfaces. You can even do like a cutting board and stuff. People have done that, decorate the back of a cutting board. So um, Chris Rapkin asks, uh, so recently purchased a Ricoma Luminaris 200 Y200 printer. We were using the Rico SP250SF color laser with the Pro World Light and dark two-step transfers. Since this um, 200 can be used for standard CMYK office printing and their transfers were designed for a Ricoh engine, can we use those still? They were expensive, so hopefully we can use. I'm not sure about uh, when you say, can we use those still, what you meant by those. So, um, but uh, the Luminaris 200 can also be used for standard CMYK printing for like an office printer. So you can use, you, it can be flexible in that sense. You can, you can print transfers or you can print CMYK uh, normal office printing. Todd Leclerc says, I have the Lux and I feel there has to be more videos on it compared to others. The videos are so short, they're, they're videos. So if you're talking about the just the um, training videos, maybe on our Chroma Lux or the, or the Chroma digitizing software channel, um, those are just meant to be introductory videos. But if you actually follow our YouTube channel, we do a bunch of tutorials on digitizing to, 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 to begin with. I mean, um, Willie does a fantastic job on uh, doing some uh, embroidery hub episodes and showing you how to how to to digitize for for specific projects like patches or um, for a hat or you know whatever the case is right so those are more full length tutorial videos um, and gives you a lot more tips and tricks versus a kind of entry level just how to where the buttons are type of type of video so um, make sure to check those out if you're kind of looking for more in depth stuff there's plenty of of that on our YouTube channel. Um, second, there's also a ton of webinars that we host um, on a weekly basis. I believe it's like three times a week, at least two to three times a week um, uh, that you should access through your customer portal. You can actually see what the upcoming webinars for Chroma are. If you're a Recoma customer, you get access to your customer portal and you can sign up for those webinars so you can join in on different topics. And uh, each week we cover different topics with Chroma with either either different tiers or, or, or different things like that. Um, 
and it's able to help you learn uh, digitizing th that way through the through the webinars that's that's taught by our team. And I think if you couple that with um, you know if you couple the webinars with the ongoing just video content that we put out on our YouTube on our YouTube channel, you know many of those being um, digitizing focused or at least has a, has a digitizing element in the video. I think you'll be well on your way to kind of learning the software and doing some digitizing on your own. Patty Evans, yeah, I love the lifetime upgrade. I assume you're referring to the to the Chroma software. Yes, that's definitely a super helpful feature because you, you essentially buy it once and you get a lifetime upgrade for any new a new edition or new version that comes out. So that's super helpful versus having to buy another version and spend another you know four thousand dollars with Wilcom or or you know whoever else comes up with a new version. All right, let's see some, any other questions on YouTube? Um, <clears throat> Shane Whitecloud says, I love my DTG setup and I'm excited that my new Ricoma MT2001 8S is being delivered in a couple of weeks. Awesome, great to hear that, uh, Shane. Shane also asks, watching through YouTube, in your opinion, what would you recommend as a business management software for shops doing embroidery and screen printing? So um, I think the, the first one that comes on top of mind is probably one of our you know, uh, great friends over at, at Printavo. Um, they, do, they tailor towards you know, print shops, and I think, I believe, the last time I spoke to Bruce, um, who's the CEO there, um, they, they are actually adding are looking to add uh, embroidery workflows um, to, their, to their software. So, um, but they started out with, uh, with you know, print shop focused and Printavo has uh, been one of the leaders in, um, in kind of the you know, uh, print management software for, for different shops. And with them adding on embroidery, um, that could also kind of be a good thing down the road uh, to expand on. So that's kind of the first thing that comes on top of mind in terms of you know business management software. It has a CRM to keep track of your you know quotes and opportunities. It has probably like you know I've seen some demos from from Bruce with with regards to being able to kind of um, you know assign different jobs and the specs of different jobs where they are in the process. So you kind of get like real live updates. Um, so a lot of tools in there. I would definitely recommend checking them out and, uh, you know, either get a free trial or something um, to try out the software. And um, I've, I've heard good things about it. Hugh Jazz says on YouTube, I'm interested in getting a double head. I'm wondering what the process is in getting monthly payments for a double head. Um, are there hard credit checks income requirements? So if you're looking to get the 0% financing um, option that we offer, it is uh, going to be a hard cre uh, credit check. Um, and if you get approved, then the amount that you get, pro you get approved on is 0% is, uh, financing. Um, if you uh, are kind of a little bit concerned about either your credit or kind of income requirements, we also have other vendors that we work with that um, take, uh, cater to kind of you know lower credit scores and um, and things of that nature, so that you can go a different route. We also have that. That's actually a soft credit check. So if you're interested in that, you know, get in touch with our team also. And um, last but not least, we also have business financing. So. Um, business financing doesn't have to go through your personal credit. It goes through kind of a business check. Um, but if you're kind of new to business or if you're a startup, they might need a personal guarantor and that would need a hard credit check on your personal credit. But we have like three or four different options, um, business financing, personal financing, and like low credit financing. So um, get in touch with our team and after they go through the financing with you and the different options, see what's best for your needs and we can try different avenues to kind of get, get you the machine that you want. So um, I would say that that would be the first step to get started. I think they um, obviously with any, you know, uh, lending of credit, they do have some sort of um, credit approval process, um, but uh, we have different options so that we can kind of tailor it to your needs. Jackie Garcia asks a great question. How do you compare the Ricoma white toner printer to the new Creo white toner printer? So um, if, for those of you that don't know, Creo is one sold, I believe, by uh, Heat Press Nation. 
um, and it's just a rebranded uh, Oki printer. Um, it's it's nothing different. Uh, I think Oki kind of got out of the North American market. Uh, they announced that sometime last year that they're no longer um, going to sell in the North American market. So probably you know they offered this printer to um, Heat Press Nation and um, you know uh, got rebranded as a as a Creo. I believe Creo is probably also sold by some other. Um, other dealers, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but I've seen, I've seen them being sold um, somewhere. Um, but essentially, that's a that's a rebranded uh, Oki printer. So if you if you are familiar with Oki printers in the past, that's the, it's the same model, just with the Creo name kind of you know, re, it, the the Oki name replaced by the by the Creo brand. Um, and the major difference there is uh, the I, I would say it comes down to the to the RIP software. With any um, Y2O transfer printer, the RIP software is absolute key. Um, I believe with the Creo, it doesn't come with the um, a, a free uh, RIP software. The RIP software is absolutely needed in order to make a white tone transfer printer work because it, it rips the design, it kind of packages the design and sends it to the printer in a format that it can read and therefore print. Um, and I believe with Creo and with Oki in the past, they've uh, sold the software separately, um, which can easily be uh, you know six seven hundred dollars or some sometime upwards of like nine hundred to a thousand dollars. So that's a that's a huge cost. That's like that's like a third of the machine cost um, just for the software itself. So that's one major major uh, difference. Um, the uh, other difference that I would mention, just from a kind of a whole package standpoint. Um, you know, Creo again sold by uh, likes of Heat Press Nation, which um, aren't really experts in uh, in printing per se. I mean, they got kind of started with 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 Heat Press, which obviously is related to printing. Um, but in terms of the support and training, and just kind of in and outs of how white toner transfer printer works, um, you know, we've been doing this a lot longer than than some of these other dealers have. And so the training that you get, the type of videos that you get in your customer portal with just like how to do a proper transfer, the different settings, um, you know, those those things are definitely um, night and day versus the support that other companies are offering you. And I think that's just it. Just speaks. Um, volumes and it speaks true to all of our support systems, um, whether it's importing machines or DTG or white tone transfer printer. We offer the same level of support across all of our products, um, lifetime support as long as you're a, a, a Recoma customer. And so that I think it's more of a kind of a nuanced difference that you kind of get to experience from a from an experience standpoint is going to be different. And lastly. I would say that um, the, the the Creo going back to the RIP software again our our um, RIP software for the Recoma white tone transfer printer the um, Luminaris 200 um, is indeed also compatible with Mac. It's built on a similar platform as Chroma, uh, our embroidery digitizing software, and so being built on the same platform, it's compatible with Mac and PC. So with the uh, Lumen RIP printing software, um, you know that's compatible with uh, the Luminaris 200 white tone transfer printer. It's compatible with both Mac and PC, and that's a that's a great great uh, offer there as well. Um, great uh, being very flexible, and also it comes with lifetime upgrades. So um, you never have to buy another RIP software again, and uh, you know this will be more than enough to kind of you know keep keep being updated with any machine changes um, and things like that, and and new and new features. So being built on the same Chroma platform is super helpful. Jackie Garcia asks, I have the basic Chroma installed and the font options is very minimum. Is there any font options that can be purchased to go directly into the Chrome software? Um, I believe so. I'm not too entirely sure. You might want to get in touch with our service team to kind of um, ask them that. Um, you know, they they can walk you through the steps if you can purchase fonts and upload them into Chroma. I believe you can, but they might be limited to like um, very specific formats or, or whatever the case is. But I would I would double check with service just to make sure that I'm giving you the right answer. All right, let's check on any questions from Instagram. Uh, Angie Age V says, um, "Is there going to be any sale for Black Friday? I guess you just have to stay tuned." But um, usually we have a we do have a sale for Black Friday, but. You know, depending on what it is, we're keeping a secret until it actually launches. 
But uh, stay, definitely stay tuned. Be on top of our, you know, uh, be on our newsletter, or if you're not already inquired on our list, make sure to get in touch there. All right. I don't see any other questions here. Edison Enterprises Inc. says, as the company has scaled, your customer service has suffered terribly. I love my Ricoma and have bought two DTG machines and an EM1010 and my Rico has been down. Yeah, I mean, sometimes with uh, scaling a business, sometimes it does, um, you know, we, we try to get back to as many customers as we can. Obviously, we're all, we're all human, but that's something that we're really working on as well, um, you know, to be able to accommodate the you know, huge influx of volume that a lot of our, um, uh, you know, customers have been inquiring about. So it is something that we're well aware of, and I believe we've made some significant strides in those areas, um, especially over the last um, several weeks. It'll probably it'll take some time for you guys to see the changes, but, um, you know, we do really pride ourselves on customer service and the fact that, you know, you're mentioning that that's something that we um, have already been aware of. Um, but obviously, you know, with, uh, you know, with with the market and, and, and being able to you know hire enough people and things like that to kind of accommodate and the training and support. Um, but I think we've already made significant strides. And that's something that we constantly try to, um, you know, overcome and make sure that it's on top of our mind because, you know, service is a, is a big part of any organization and we've always kind of prided, prided ourselves on service. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we do try to get back to people as, as quickly as possible. Sometimes, you know, there might be a, vo a, a you know, a couple of voicemails uh, that we need to get, you know, get back to you. Um, but having, you know, both offices operating, you know, both here in Miami and in California, um, we, tr we do try to, um, you know, make the most of it. And sometimes uh, it's just the, you know, overwhelming number of, you know, machines that we've launched and sold. And so trying to uh, play a little bit of, of catch up and knowing that through, um, you know, from now to the end of the year, essentially, the, that volume is never going to stop and continue to increase even further. So we're well aware and preparing for that as we head into the, the end of the year. So, you know, I would just ask for a little bit of patience and, um, and that, you know, knowing that this is, you know, on top of my mind, as well as, uh, you know, everyone else here, especially in the service department, um, you know, they, they know we, we need to, we need to do better. And sometimes it's just, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit hu humanly uh, impossible, but we try to make the impossible possible with anything that we can do. And so uh, we've, we've been implementing, you know, not only more personnel, but, you know, some changes in our processes to make sure that uh, we can get people the support that they need. Um, but then again, there's also a ton of resources on our customer portal online. The reason we make a lot of those things is, you know, also take, uh, number one, it takes time to do them, um, but, but it, it's for a lot of the customers' um, benefit as well, right? So um, I would encourage you to, to take advantage of those resources. Many times questions could be answered from either our Facebook groups or, um, you know, on, on our YouTube channel, you know, looking up a question. We have even simple troubleshooting videos on our, on our YouTube channel as well, um, as well as in the customer portal. I mean, there's just so many other uh, avenues and that the reason we create that is, you know, to make sure that, um, that customers can find the help that they need in different in different areas, and I and I believe that the that the community that we have in terms of our Facebook group and people answering questions there is um, super active, and so I would encourage you to make sure to join those. and And sometimes you know you never know a simple question could be answered by a by a by a um, you know fellow embroiderer or or, or printer uh, in the industry that has experience you know that, that has gone through that experience and have and, and can guide you in the right in the right direction. Um, but our team is always here to help as well. All right, let's see any questions from Facebook. <clears throat> Royale Abiba says, excited to get my new Luminaris 200 with my uh, 16 by 20 heat press, my hat press, and my mug press. Awesome. I, I, you've definitely loaded up on a, different, on a lot of different uh, heat presses to get ready for your uh, white tuna transfer printer so congrats on that and very excited for you and hopefully you know see some of your great work um you know on our social media or in our in our facebook groups <clears throat> vasquez vanessa says how can i get my rp200 to print a bit brighter it comes out with a gray look so that's probably in your settings in your lumen rip you want to make sure to kind of um either you know increase the brightness or increase the contrast that can help um, I would definitely play around with the settings and get in touch with our support team. They can probably get you um, in the right direction there. Uh, 
Andrea Tarpley, uh, good to see you, Andrea. Do you have a list of repair centers by state that are certified to repair or service recumbent and boarding machines? Yes, our team does have that. There's different service technicians that are traveling, you know, in, and covers different areas. Um, and so we, we have that list. Uh, you know, if you need if you need that or if you uh, need a particular area or to get in touch with someone, just get in touch with our service team and they can help you out there. Harriet Jones says, I apologize for the tardiness. I already have embroidery machine. I need lots of help to get business started and how to generate business. So, I mean, that's a pretty broad question, uh, Harriet. Um, if you could be more specific in terms of which area that you're specifically struggling on, I could perhaps give some insight. But in general, I mean, it is difficult to you know start. And obviously, if you have any... Um, if you don't have prior business, it's you know starting out from scratch. What I would recommend doing is looking in your local network and seeing um, you know who you know, uh, maybe friends of friends, and be introduced to those people that could maybe introduce you to someone else and kind of just tap into your local network of who you already know and asking around and see if either they need it, they need any embroidery done or they might know people that need embroidery done, and that's just very low hanging fruit to um, get started. Obviously, you got to put in the work to. You know, reach out to those people and network um, and, and, and make the ask. But that's the first thing that I would do um, to get started without even having to, you know, uh, visit businesses or do any of the other stuff. Uh, that's the first thing that I would do because a lot of people, you know, they, they feel that they need to start off with advertising or being on this platform and that platform and, you know, build an email list. All of that can come later. The first thing, if you're not even having, you know, you're just, just brand new to the business, I would recommend just getting into your local network and you'll be surprised how many people might know someone that might know someone else that might need embroidery. You just gotta tap into that network and get that ball rolling. And then once you do a couple of orders from these just kind of referral business, um, you know, those people can can make repeat orders and uh, they might refer you to someone else. So you'll be surprised at how many businesses can be sustained with just a couple of repeat customers, you know, a couple of big accounts and that's all they do. Um, so I, I, I would encourage you to start there. Todd LeClaire says, I just made a couple of freebies for a local foot uh, doctor. Um, they love them and place an order. So do not, you know, do not be afraid to give businesses freebies to generate future sales. I mean, that's also a great tip, right? Um, give some samples to local businesses. I mean, that does take more time because you got to embroider them, you know, with the with their logo and stuff. So it does take a little bit more time, but it's worth the effort, you know, if you have that time, especially in the beginning. But um, you know, couple that with asking your local network, and I'm pretty sure you'll get a good start. Ivan um, Hymas asked, uh, where can I buy the plastic cover for the bobbin compartment? Um, from our service department, from our parts team. So um, if you email to service at recoma.com, they can help you out there. Okay, let's see, any other questions? Okay, um, question from uh, uh, from Aliana here. Which uh, which custom apparel decoration method is best for someone who's new to the industry and just starting out? Um, great great uh, great question. I mean, there's no right or wrong answer to it. I would say that you know I kind of give you a breakdown of the three different apparel decoration methods that we offer here at Recoma. There's a lot more out there, um, but the three main three ones that we that, that we offer here is obviously embroidery, which is our our bread and butter, and on the printing side with DTG and the white toner transfer printing. Right, those are the three main products, and obviously now we have some vinyl cutters for you to do heat transfer as well. So we also offer offer heat presses. So really, it kind of breaks down to either embroidery 
embroidery, um, direct to garment, or some form of, form of heat transfer, either with heat transfer vinyl or white toner heat transfer. So um, that is kind of the three or four different options that you really have, you know, to kind of get started in the business. There's no really right or wrong answer for someone new and which one is uh, quote unquote the best method for them to get started. It really depends on your individual business, right? Like what your needs are, what your customers want, right? So I kind of give you a breakdown of each one. With embroidery, it's it's higher perceived value. Um, it lasts longer because you're actually dealing with stitches and threads, and it has it has a more elegant look. So so people like that. That's why embroidery has a higher perceived value, and people are willing to pay a premium for that, right? Um, with kind of heat transfer, either with direct to garment or actually not 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 with DTG, but with with heat transfer, either heat transfer vinyl or with white toner transfer. Um, those are easier and lower kind of entry level to get started, right? Especially with heat transfer vinyl, you can get a vinyl cutter for a couple of hundred bucks and then a heat press for, for a couple of hundred bucks and then um, some, some vinyl rolls for you know $12 or $15 off of Amazon and you can get started with, with kind of heat transfer vinyl onto t-shirts. But then again, it's a very kind of low cost, cost, cost efficient way to get started, but it's not as high perceived value as like DTG or, or, or embroidery, but it's very easy to get started. There's also very minimal um, ramp up um, and learning curve associated uh, uh, with that. Um, so, and, and it's also a, a lower cost of entry because the, the equipment cost is, is lower. Um, but with those, you know, you kind of lose out on some of the kind of, you know, quality or or the the durability of the transfers. Um, but, you know, it, you, have, you have different levels. Heat transfer vinyl is probably the kind of the really low entry level. Then you got you kind of white toner transfer printer, which is a, a one step up. It's the, the equipment costs more, but also um, you can have more, uh, it's more versatile and you can have, you can do a lot more things than heat transfer vinyl. Um, heat transfer vinyl also, you have to, you know, imagine doing multicolor designs. You can't really do that because each roll of vinyl is like one layer, right? So if to do a multicolor design, it's kind of difficult. Um, but with white toner transfer printer, you can print full color designs as if it's like a DTG printer. So um, that's the benefit there. So there's just different levels of um, how, so how sophisticated the equipment is, how versatile it is, and what the cost is, right? And and the learning curve. And then with, with DTG, it's a um, Higher cost of entry, but you know, super high quality, super fast speed on printing, you know, full color designs on black or or white garments, um, and either polyester or, or cotton, and those are, those things are are you know very versatile as well across a wide range of spectrum for different um, different apparel that you can decorate, um, and if you couple that with a white toner transfer printer that can kind of transfer onto caps and uh, mugs and jackets and and different items, different surfaces, um, that can be a very kind of uh, versatile combo to have DTG and white, white toner transfer printer. So um, it just really depends. And then last but not least, obviously with, with, an, with embroidery, um, it's a complete different ball game than, than printing. You're dealing with actual needles and threads. It's more, more physical and that's why you have you know tensions and, and other settings that you need to be aware of. There's also the, the digitizing element that you need to, need to consider. Many do outsource their digitizing to, to, to begin with just to not um, deal with that in the, in the beginning and learn embroidery and focus on the craft of, of embroidery. And you can always learn that um, later on, right? But there's plenty of professionals you can outsource the digitizing to, and then just use the, use the design to 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 actually do the embroidery. Um, but with embroidery, it's a little bit more hands-on, and uh, you know there's a learning curve there. Obviously, as as I talk about uh, a a lot in the past, there is a learning curve. It's not rocket science, but um, there is a learning curve. You don't need a you know PhD to learn it, but there is going to be um, some kind of learning process as with anything new. Um, but if you do master it, it's very lucrative, and 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 embroidery is seen pretty much anywhere, right? Like you got sports teams that need it. Um, you got uh, you know hospitals or schools or restaurants. I mean, there's just so many use cases for embroidery and custom apparel in general that either of these methods, any of these methods, um, are a good way to get started. It really depends on I think focus on your budget, the type of stuff you're looking to do, which will kind of drive you into what machine you you, you get. Um, I think those two are the main things, budget and the type of items and the type of clientele that you're catering towards. And then as your business scales, you can add on complementary items to kind of you know offer a full suite 
of different uh, offerings to your customers and scale your business that way. But first, you know, dominate one vertical, one method, um, and that just depends on kind of how much budget you have starting out um, and also kind of what type of items you're looking to do. I would say, though, if budget is kind of one of the limiting factors, I mean, one great thing about what we do here at Recoma is we're able to offer these 0% financing options and make really low monthly payments for any of these products that, um, you know, if you feel that the hurdle is get getting um, the, the money to do it, you can finance it and with no interest, I mean, it doesn't get, be it doesn't get better than that uh, with 0% with interest. And with that, you can really kind of fulfill your monthly payment with just one small order every single month. Um, and that's kind of how we've set out to really help small businesses get started in this industry. So I hope that helps. And, um, you know, really, it just I would encourage you to think about those different areas in your business and what suits you best at this current time. And you can always scale further to other apparel decoration methods as your business kind of further progresses and you get more clients. And naturally, they're going to ask you for different items as well. And that's when you want to become the one stop shop for your clients. All right, we're coming up to the top of the hour, so I'll kind of answer a couple of other questions, like answer three more questions just as kind of a rapid fire, and then we'll kind of announce the winner for the AutoCaps um, $50 credit giveaway. Um, I'll, t I'll take one question from each channel, so one, one more from Facebook. <clears throat> Kelly Sherrard asks, can we come up buy back my EM1010 so I can upgrade to a 20 though? Yes, so um, if you get in touch with our service team, uh, or sorry, our, our sales team, um, or get in touch with your account coordinator, which is your, should be your first port of contact, they can give you an, an estimate for the, for the trade-in. Um, we do do offer you know trading options if you want to upgrade. Um, you know with upgrading from an EM1010 single head to another single head, it's not you know as great of a value versus single head to a multi head like a two head and, and up. But it is doable, and um, you know our team will kind of give you a quote and an estimate on that for that trade in depending on you know the condition of your machine, what year is it, how well you how long you've used it, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then they can give you pricing on the twenty needle that you're looking for as well. All right, one other question from YouTube. <clears throat> so not so much of a question, but a statement. Uh, How High TV asked, I love my RI-1000, got it a month ago, uh, and have printed about a 1,000 shirts so far. Great products. Awesome, great to hear. And yeah, I mean, if you are really dialed in with your DTG and you have the volume to justify it, I mean, if you, and you're constantly working the thing, um, it's a really great investment. I mean, a thousand shirts. I mean, just roughly each shirt can sell for like twenty dollars on the DTG because it's you know it's directly printed on the garment, higher perceived value. Um, twenty dollars a shirt, just conservatively, you know, twenty dollars a shirt. That's twenty thousand dollars. That more more than has paid off your machine already. <laughs> so um, you know you've already kind of you know paid it off, and everything else is is profit at 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 this point. So. Um, uh, you know, great to hear that. And if you kind of keep up that volume, um, you know, you probably need another machine or even an RI two thousand in the future to pump out more volume with your machine. Um, okay, so a, an actual question uh, from Jackie Garcia: Thinking of buying another Recoma, I have an MT fifteen hundred one. Thinking about buying the TC fifteen hundred one. My question is: Would the same mighty hoops fit both machines? Um, I believe the TC and the MT have the same pantograph um, settings, so the same slots. So um, I do believe they're interchangeable. Um, so with the mighty hoops, then the brackets would fit. Uh, I would I would encourage you to confirm that with service, but off the top of my head, they are th they are the same. Um, I'm also curious though because you know usually people go with the MT and they're and they're kind of staying at the MT or even higher. Um, I'm wondering kind of what your rationale is go going with the with the TC because maybe it's more portable, it's lighter. Um, maybe that that might be one of the reasons. But usually when people go with the MT, it is the top of the line for a single head machine, uh, or, or you know one of the one of the uh, top of the line items for a single head machine. And so. Um, um, yeah, so it's 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 definitely helpful if you if you kind of you know stay there or go above. So I'm curious also to, to learn you know why you're looking at a, at a TC. Yeah, my first my first gut instinct is it's probably lighter and more portable for your needs. But um, I do believe they share the same brackets. All right, last question. Let's see from Instagram.
Nivon Scott Lavelle 868 says, I'm from Trinidad and I want a DTG printer. So yeah, uh, we um, are able to actually um, offer that to, to the island. So if you are actually interested, get in touch with our team and uh, they can give you the pricing and um, the shipping costs and all of that stuff. So uh, we... Um, so yeah, just to clarify, actually, from the answer from uh, Melissa down there, um, yeah, we do actually offer it to the islands. So um, not internationally to like Europe or whatever, but um, to the islands where we we do we do we do sell that. So if you're interested, um, do get in touch with us. Uh, just to clarify your your comment there, um, and maybe if you're not if you're on the feed already or if you're off the feed, you know, we can send you a DM separately and, and make sure you get in touch. All right, I think that's about it we're going to go ahead and announce the winner for the auto caps and um and wrap up everything here so um as i mentioned um just a couple of other announcements before we kind of get into the the winner um if you haven't heard already we did launch our rico ri2000 ddg printer so we kind of brought that up uh, at the beginning of, at the beginning of our session we also launched the uh uh, the vinyl cutter, so we can bring up the the Rico R one thousand now, just uh, the Rico R two thousand now. Sorry, to, uh, just to kind of get you guys um, uh, make you guys aware if you if you aren't aware already, we launched that about a month ago and have been getting some uh, you know some some great orders there. Um, that's really for someone that's looking to really scale their DTG business and print print a lot more volume. Um, and uh, it has a dual carriage system where it prints you know white and color in two separate carriages so that it can print it in one pass uh, instead of having two passes on the rico ri 1000 so it's going to be you know very fast and cut this cut the speed in half um and that's going to um you know that cut cut the time in half and that's going to double your speed and therefore if you're looking to kind of really pump up the volume the, the ri 2000 is a, is a is a very good investment in, in that in that regard um with regards to the other product that we launched, the, the vinyl cutters, we have two vinyl cutter series. One is the RCP3301, which is a 13-inch vinyl cutter, and the other one is the RCP6301, which is a 25-inch vinyl cutter. I know someone asked about, you know, how what's the you know cutting area, maximum cutting area for those two vinyl cutters. They are available right now on our shop, uh, on our on our on our Shopify store, shop.recoma.com. So if you go there, you can check out the different packages or buy the cutters separately. Those are great to do, you know, heat transfer vinyl, couple it with a heat press, and you can start printing T-shirts with heat transfer vinyl. So that's kind of the two major announcements there. Um, and obviously we have our ongoing promotions uh, with 0% financing uh, for 72 months for our embroidery machines starting as low as 130 a month um, with the EM1010 if you're interested in that. And I, I believe the TC starts at around $200 uh, per, per month with the, with the commercial single heads. So if you're interested in kind of getting started with embroidery, you know, make sure to, to check that out. Our, our team will put the links in the, in, you know, down in the comments below. Um, we also have the DTG printers, as, as, as you're well, well aware of, 235 per month for the DTG printers. And the Luminaris 200 white tuna transfer printer at um, uh, $95 per month to get started with white tuna transfer printing. So, um, you know, quite a few areas that you can get started in and kind of couples with the other question I answered about what's the best way to get started. You know, any of those ways, it's, it's a foot in the door to get started in the apparel integration and customization business in general. It just depends on your budget, what you're looking for, your, your needs, and all that can be answered you know tailored to your specific needs it's hard for me to kind of answer a, a broad question of what's best for you um, unless I kind of know your circumstance and and that's what our you know sales team is here for and those product specialists are able to kind of really you know help you gear towards um, the right machine to fit your needs at your budget and things like that so with that being said you know uh, thank you guys so much for for joining this um, I did also want to mention we do have a sale I forgot to mention this at, at, at the at the beginning but we do have a sale going on on our shop.recoma.com um, if you're interested in any any of the accessories or um, you know heat presses, um, sewing machines, there um, you know we do have some some promo codes, so do write this down. Um, so if if you use these codes, you can you can get ten. If you if you use these codes, you can get ten percent off all heat presses and ten percent off all uh, sew, sewing machines. So if you use the code heat ten, that's heat ten. H E A T the and then the number ten. If you use the code heat ten, you can get ten percent off all heat presses on shop.recoma.com. If you use the code so ten, that's S E W and then the number ten, um, you can get all you can get ten percent off um, all sewing machines 
uh, on the shop as well. So if you're looking to like, you know, couple a sewing machine um, to sew patches, right? A lot of people use sewing machines to sew patches um, onto their uh, caps and stuff like that. Um, you can get 10% off uh, with the, the, the promo code SO10 at checkout. All right, and uh, free shipping on all orders over $1,000. Um, so if you're looking to kind of load up on some orders and get free shipping on all the things in your cart, um, you know, over $1,000, you do get free shipping. So those are some of the promotions that I forgot to mention on our shop. Um, so go ahead and check it out there. I, I see that we have it on, on the screen there if you want to check it out. All right, um, with that being said, we're going to announce the winner of our um, free giveaway for the $50 auto caps credit. So um, the winner for today's giveaway is going to be uh, Desiree Simmons Boston. So Desiree, congrats to you. Um, thank you so much uh, for joining and asking questions. Um, so you will be the winner of uh, our, our $50 um, store credit for auto caps. So if you're looking for some you know blank caps to embroider or to print on, um, you make sure to use that um, that credit uh, and shop at, at AutoCast, one of our great partners there. And um, uh, our team will be in touch with you uh, to kind of you know tell you how to access that fifty dollar store credit gift card with AutoCaps. All right, I hope you guys found this information helpful. Thank you so much for joining. Um, again, make sure to implement a lot of these uh, strategies and things that we mentioned into your business. And I know we're coming up to the end of the year, so it's going to be the holiday rush. And um, I'll, I'll be actually coming up with a coming out with a new video on our uh, YouTube channel regarding how you should be prepared for the holiday season with your custom apparel or customization business. So stay tuned for for, for that. I hope you found this information helpful. Um, and um, you know, again, we, I do this every single month, so. So um, if you didn't get your answer, um, get your question answered this time around, or you didn't have a question, make sure that you tune into next month's live uh, where we will be doing the same thing and I'll be answering questions there. So I hope you all found this information helpful. Make sure you go back and implement it into your business. Thank you guys so much for joining and see you guys next time.